President Obama arrives in Germany at a time when anti-American sentiments are high as a lingering result of revelations about U.S. spying, including on Chancellor Angela Merkel. Demonstrators here staged a protest outside a U.S. military facility near the summit site. And there are questions about the U.S. leader's handling of economic issues, his strategy against the Islamic State group, and a policy on Russia that White House spokesman Josh Ernest acknowledges has not caused Vladimir Putin's behavior to change in Ukraine. The economic pressure that's been applied to Russia has not yet resulted in um, President Putin changing his strategic calculus inside of Ukraine. With fresh violence erupting in Ukraine, President Obama will rally G7 leaders to extend sanctions that are set to expire in the next two months. But efforts to isolate Russia are in question. Secretary of State John Kerry visited Russia last month and U.S. officials recognized the importance of Russia's role in efforts to reach a nuclear deal with Iran and rid Syria of chemical weapons. At this resort in the German Alps, President Obama will seek unity on the issues and show the U.S. maintains a leadership role. Heather Conley is a Europe analyst with the Center for Strategic and International Studies. There is growing sensitivity at the White House about criticism of the lack of American leadership or the la lack of policy effectiveness uh, for both of these uh, two important geostrategic issues. But at this point, the, this summit is an opportunity for these important leaders to have very candid conversations privately and then put forward a message, a unified message of, of their approach on an incredible range of issues. Those thorny issues will include Iran. This is the last chance for face-to-face -face meetings with G7 leaders before this month's deadline for a nuclear agreement. The way forward against the Islamic State group in Iraq is also high on the agenda following the fall of Ramadi and U.S. concerns that Iraqis may have lost the will to fight. On Monday, Mr. Obama is set to meet with Iraqi Prime Minister Hader al-Abadi. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, at the site of the G7 summit near Garmisch, Germany.